Today's video is going to be about high-end blushes. I realize that I've been doing a lot of drugstore videos lately. I love drugstore makeup, and of course, who doesn't love finding things that are affordable? But I also have a lot of high-end makeup as well. And then I thought it would be really fun for me to share my favorite five high-end blushes, the ones that I think are worth the money. And the reason being because they last a little bit longer on the skin than most drugstore blushes. They have great pigmentation, they blend out really easily, and they're beautiful shades to play with. So I've narrowed it down to five different brands, five different colors, and we're gonna dive right in. So if you're interested, please just keep watching. So the first one I wanted to mention is actually the one I'm wearing today, and it's from Too Faced. These are their newer release blushes. They're called the Love Flush Long Lasting 16 Hour Blushes, and the lightest shade of the collection, which is called Baby Love, is my absolute favorite. It's a beautiful nude that goes with every single makeup look, whether you're doing a dusty, rosy eye makeup look like I did today, whether you're wearing barely any makeup at all, or if you're doing a super smoky eye, it's just such a neutral, universally flattering shade. I love this blush so much, and I love that it's called Baby Love. It's one of my favorite songs, actually. And this blush is actually referred to on the Too Faced website as a soft, dusty nude. And I have to agree, it's very nude, but there's a little bit of a dustiness to it. I really, really love this blush. And it blends out so nicely. It just blends out almost like silk, so soft. It doesn't pop on, too pigmented. You can easily build it. Really, really pretty blush. And I love their packaging. There's little bunnies inside. And it's a heart-shaped compact that is adorable. And it even has that full-size mirror included, which is amazing. So the next blush is from NARS, and you guys are probably thinking I'm going to mention the most famous blush from NARS that everybody talks about from Pinterest to Tumblr to Instagram, and that's the NARS Orgasm Blush. That's not the blush I'm going to mention. I actually don't like that blush. I think it's a little bit too chunky, it's a little too glittery, and it's a very pigmented, bright, hot pink. I prefer this shade. It's called Madly, and it's a really soft, nude, neutral again, but this one is just a little bit less pink and a little bit more skin tone. It's actually referred to as a C shell soft nude pink on the NARS website. That's the best way to describe this. Definitely reminds me of a seashell. It's very, very neutral, very, very natural, but it's buildable. It doesn't look like much when you swatch it. You almost wouldn't want to pick it up if you swatch this in store because it actually doesn't swatch very well on the hand. It doesn't pick up very much pigment on the back of your hand, but when you pop this on your face, you will fall in love with this blush because it's almost like a satin blush. It's a little bit matte. It's a little bit shimmery, but very, very, very natural. And it definitely is like a seashell pink, very soft and really, really pretty very buildable. It isn't too pigmented. If you're scared of blush and you're just entering the world of blush, I would highly suggest that you check out the NARS Madly Blush. Don't be turned off if you swatch this on the back of your hand because it won't really show up. Honestly, I wasn't that impressed when I first swatched it, but when I placed it onto my cheeks, onto my actual face, I could see the pigmentation. I could see the color. It was very natural, but you could still tell that it was there. So it's really great for the beginner or for those days when you aren't wearing a whole bunch of makeup, but it will complement a smoky eye or a full face of makeup as well. That's why I like this. It's just so universal. It's a really great blush. My third favorite is from Becca. This is the first blush I ever picked up from the line. My first products from Becca were actually her face powder highlights, but this blush is beautiful. It's called Wild Honey, and it's actually... I don't know if that's why it's named this, but that is actually a song by the Beach Boys. I believe they also have an album called Wild Honey. So I always think about that when I put this blush on. I tend to wear this a lot in the summer. It's a beautiful peachy nude. It's warmer than your typical peach blushes. It has a little bit of a brown hint to the peach. It's really, really pretty. And I love this blush with just about any makeup look. Sometimes I'll use it to contour and bronze my face with as well. So it's like a blush and a bronzer in one. I travel with her a lot. It's a great summertime blush. I just love Wild Honey by Becca. And these blushes are beautiful. They're easy to blend, easy to work with, and you definitely get a lot of pigmentation, get a lot of products for your money. I highly recommend the Becca blushes in general. So this next blush, I consider it high-end because it's in that $20 range. To me, that's pricey. To me, that qualifies as higher-end. But for some reason, some people refer to this brand as drugstore. I'm not really sure why, but the brand is The Bomb, and the blush is called Cabana Boy. I love their packaging. It's so retro, so cute. It makes me think of the Archie comic books. It's just really adorable. And I do believe that this is one of my first pricier blushes. Cabana Boy is so pretty. I've used this so many times. It has that full-size mirror in there as well. It's a beautiful, dusty, rose with a hint of mauve. Definitely has shimmer in it, but it's very subtle, so it gives you that nice, natural radiance to the skin. This is, again, another beautiful blush for the summertime. I like it a lot in the fall as well because it 
kind of warms up the cheeks a little bit, gives you a little more pop of color, especially if you're not that tan anymore. So I like brighter pops of blush like this sometimes in the wintertime. It makes me think of Snow White, just that nice flush of color, but it's also very easy to blend out. It's a really great, beautiful blush. I like all of the balm blushes, but this one in particular, Cabana Boy, is the one I tend to reach for the most. It must flatter my skin tone the best. I don't know what it is, but I just love Cabana Boy. And the balm is just a great brand overall. I really like their products and their packaging. And I tend to pick up my products from the balm online, but they are now sold at Kohl's. And I believe I've heard this, I'm not sure, some Targets, but I haven't seen it at my Targets, unfortunately. But the balm is a great brand in general, and I highly recommend Cabana Boy if you're looking for a deeper blush tone. And then the last color is from MAC. So this is the blush I like to use when I want to skip bronzer and I just want an all-over kind of warmth to my skin. And that is MAC's Harmony Blush. This is a mineralized blush. So it's kind of like a baked blush as far as the way it looks. It's kind of dome-shaped. And I also feel that the way that it applies onto my skin is kind of like a baked product because it's lighter weight. It's very kind of feather soft as you're applying it to the skin. You have that shimmer and that radiance throughout the powder, but it's definitely matte once you're done blending it out. This is described as a warm brown nude and it's a matte powder blush. I love it. MAC Harmony, if you're looking for something to bronze and blush at the same time, is the perfect go-to. And this is my absolute favorite MAC blush. I don't have that many MAC blushes. I may have three or four and this one's my favorite. So that pretty much wraps up this video. I just wanted to film something for you guys quickly to post up on Friday. Hopefully you found it entertaining and helpful. Let me know any other video ideas you want to see on my channel. I can continue this into a series and talk about some other high-end products that I really love and keep it in that top five format so I can make it quick, fast, and easy for you guys to watch whether you're on break at work or just taking a break from your homework. So let me know what you're interested in seeing. I will film it if I can and I will definitely see you guys in my next video which will probably be on Monday. So thanks for watching. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with me. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out and I will see you very, very soon. Mwah. Bye. It's a really soft, don't be, don't be distributed. No. Some people refer to this brand as a dog.